What up, though? It's your boy Jay Debonair back with CigarCulture.com with another review of a cigar that I ran into while I was out at Wild Bill's. Um, I frequent a lot of our brick and mortar places here in Detroit and the surrounding suburbs. So I like to see what's new. You know, I kind of want to gotta get a pulse of what's going on and what's new and what's hot. And I'm a sucker for a deal, flat out. So I go inside and they've got like a whole rack, right? Like this rack that you see on the screen right now, right? This whole rack of stuff that's like four for 20 and uh, two for one, all those kind of deals that they offer you in a lot of your B&M stores. So I picked up this one particular stick and it has on it WBS Earp. Now I thought that, that stood for Wild Bill something. You know, Wild Bill shit, I don't know. But that's what I thought it was. But I decided I was gonna ask the people that worked there, hey, you know, if you had it? And they were like, yeah, they're moving pretty good, but we don't really have a lot of details. You know, they just got them. So of course, I'm gonna jump on my online sources and hit up a bunch of people in the industry. And a lot of people surprisingly just didn't know a whole lot about this cigar. But I did manage to find some information about this WBS Earth guy. And it, it seems that this is a person from uh, like a gambler. He was a gambling guy and he was also like a marshal back in those days or we refer to as a cop or police officer. And um, you know, he's from like late 1800s, I guess. You know, and I didn't have time to go through the whole story of who this guy Earp is, uh, but it was kind of an interesting hookup, you know. So, anyway, I don't know much about it, but I figured the best way to learn is to try it yourself. And I'll tell you if it's any good or not. So, I'm gonna get this cut up, and we're gonna put some fire to it. We're gonna cut the butt and see what we get. All right. I'm gonna do a straight cut on this one. The wrapper tore a little bit. I don't know if these are, you know, I don't think it's gonna affect the, the draw. I hope it don't. But let's see what we get. All right, so we're gonna put a nice burn to this thing. Let's see what's gonna happen. To be honest, people, this is really the way you learn. All right, you know, it's a lot of reading you can do but you're never gonna get the full effect of anything until you actually decide to try and smoke one yourself. You know, but I do the best that I can to try to help get that point across. You know, I do, but ultimately, I'm just gonna give you my thoughts and hopefully you'll be able to pick some of these up for yourself. I happen to like Wild Bills. They do have a pretty decent selection and uh, depending on what location you go to, it varies, but for the most part, they got something in there that's gonna fit your taste buds. And hopefully, this might be one of them. So let's see what we get. Welcome back, y'all. This is, uh, get a little bit of my thoughts on this first third of the WBS Earp cigar uh, from Wild Bill's Corojo wrapper. Perfect draw. Perfect draw and so far perfect burn. Um, you know, it's a real, the, the, the smoke smell. You know, just the, the smell of the smoke is just really, really nice. It just feels, you know, fills the room. It's a lot of smoke output. Flavors are really just kind of a sweet tobacco right now. Nothing that's jumping out at you. But like I said, it's just the, the beginning of the first, so you know, it's not a whole lot I can say at this point. But the flavors are definitely not bad. I can't pick out anything specifically, but right now, this is really a good smoke. You know, right now it's definitely a, uh, you know, mild to medium right now. And um, just not a really good, good taste, you know? That's all I can really say at this point. So let's keep on trucking a little bit. Let's head down the road some. I'll tell you if we get anything different. All right, what's poppin'? It's getting good now, people, it's getting good. Yeah, we still in the first third, uh, quickly approaching the second third. And yeah, we getting some good flavors now. We getting some good toasty notes. 
you know, a little, little nutty notes. I wouldn't call it sweet, but I would call it real toasty nutty notes right now, you know what I mean? And it's, a, it's really nice. There's no spice, no heat, none of that. Just a nice, I, I, I'll, I'll give it, you know, toasty, semi-sweet, you know, but it's definitely not, a, it's not a syrupy nothing, uh, nothing like that, but is it good? Yeah, you know, does the foot put off a nice, you know, really, really tasty uh, smell? It does. Ash holding on nice and firm, razor sharp burn, you know, so yeah, not bad. Not bad, four or five dollar sticks so far. Tell you about the second, third shortly. But not bad for a five dollar stick. Not bad. Good construction. We ate one so far, people. I get at you though. Long ashes, good people. We are officially into the second third of the WBS Earp Cigar by Wild Bill. And I can tell you now, the flavors have shifted into a nice cedar. A uh, nice cedar flavor. Still mixing with that little sweetness I was talking about earlier. But uh, right now, we're on, we're on the cedar train, you know what I mean? And uh, and it's a, it's a good ride. It's a really good ride. Ash is holding on real nice. I think I'm gonna tap it off here shortly. But the smoke is cool, the burn is perfect. I mean, either I just got the one perfect stick they had, or this is actually a very well-made cigar. And right now it's looking like a very well-made cigar. It tastes great. You know, everything about it is looking really good. Nice uh, copper and purple band. Usually you don't see copper and purple put together on a band, but they've managed to pull that off really cool. A little hard to read under certain lighting conditions, but nevertheless, uh, a nice package, you know, and, um, and a nice package goes great with a nice cigar. So we good. I'll let you know when we get around the halfway point. What's up, good people? Hey, we are in the third third of the HBS Earp Wild Bill Cigar. And right now, I can tell you all the uh, cedar's gone. We're just in a straight tobacco flavor right now. And it's getting a little warm, so this is where I'm gonna put it down. But that's where we at. So in the beginning, a little bit of sweetness. The cedar comes in around the middle, mixes a little bit with a slight sweetness, but more earthy type flavor, which eventually transitions into a straight tobacco flavor. And I get the idea that it's probably gonna go that way uh, toward uh, the last uh, part of the cigar. So that's where we at. Decent smoke, not bad for five bucks. You know, give it a shot. It's your man, Jay Debonair for cigarculture.com. Check me out on Instagram at Cigar Culture, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Holla back.